Good morning. Welcome to new morning and evening blessing in his presence. This is Pastor Yenti. Colossians 3 verse 23 is, is speaking to us and says, and whatever you do, do it heartily. As to the Lord and not for the people. Rise, my friends, in this new given day, a day where always new things will be born, new experiences, new life. Rise as you let yourself become aware how important it is that your intention of what is going around you is very much your responsibility to do something about. As mothers, fathers, grandparents, aunts, uncles, friends, and children as obligations to one another. Maybe something new will happen today. And wherever time frame you are, I welcome you in this new rising. And perhaps you have heard it said, God is number one. The family is number two. And the church is number three. That un official list is important as it outlines a few of the priorities in a Christian's life that have become confused through the years. I know of many tragedies in pastors' families because they ignore three priorities of the kingdom's living. Yet as good as this list is, it isn't technically, wow, technically accurate, excuse me. When God is number one, there is no number two. As you and I are in Christ, and as you are the new creation, and everything is working that comes from God through your life, and there is no second or third or fourth number. There is one life in Christ, and your life, what your life is, is in Christ. How you outreach, your life is still in Christ, and how you touch others, your life is still in Christ. And all that is centered in Christ. As we provide our families, as we help our friends, as we do things in the church, that is all in that one centered very much priority, and it is Christ. As you do your work, 
as you help your children with schoolwork that is all in one. You cannot serve God and say, now I have to take care of my family because that is the second one. No. Or having a friend, that's the third part. No. When I'm doing is all what I'm doing in Christ for my family, for my grandchildren, for my brothers and sisters, for the homeless. If you serve God, that all is included. Let us pray. My dear Lord Jesus, I am so grateful for the freedom that is found in you. Thank you that because you are my priority, I can pursue the things on my heart as worship to you. Let these words of prayer travel with you today. Even if you're still at home, you still there is something to do. You travel, you walk. You're my friend. You're my sister and brother. Very important in the eyes of Christ. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. And what you do? We do in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. May God bless you. I give you wisdom to walk your path. I wish you a wonderful day. Let something new happen. Have a great day. Blessings. Welcome back. Too later in your day when you come home. Home from your work. Home from your work at home and find that peace of rest. Ready to make yourself ready to allow, let go, at least to try. What happened in that full, intensive day where we remind ourselves that we are so grateful for the freedom that is found in Christ and where he gives us the opportunity and we can pursue 
the things that we do for Christ and worship him. My dear friend, come at rest. Take your time to let go, to listen in this resting moment, this quiet moment. That out of the love of God, I give myself to my wife, to our spouses, and kids, and as a grandparent, as you babysit in that evening, and you take your quiet moment to your grandchildren. As a friend who takes care for other friends' kids and put them to bed that you find that moment for yourself. All this is not separated from the Lord but it is into him. It's not that I can not love and that we cannot love our spouses without loving God. Many unbelievers do that well. But in knowing and loving God, I am released to a measure of supernatural love that is unattainable apart from God. It should be said that anyone who is completely abounded to God should love others more than they thought possible. It is because of my passion for Jesus that I love the church the way I do. My love for God is my love for my life and for life. They cannot be separated. My love for my children, my love for my grandchildren, my love for my friends, They cannot be separated. Loving my family, church, ministry is an expression of my love for God. And you are that beautiful instrument in God's hand. God being number one, the only one. A family, church, ministry. Is hidden and treasured. For your love for God. And the way he loves you. Isn't that wonderful? To be aware that everything is in God. But I believe that we must come be more aware what a treasure it is that from God out everything flows. Because yes indeed. There are many unbelievers who do very, very, very well. And it's not a negative thing to say. They can be mirrors for us too. And we need that. But let us, not know for, let us now know for this moment of rest that we can take this treasure in our peace within God and go to sleep. But let us pray for it first before we maybe have to do still something before we go to bed. 
and then find that peace that we need for new energy to bring our minds down. Thank you, my Lord Jesus, that playing with our children, our grandchildren, loving our friends, loving our spouses, loving brothers and sisters, loving our outreach, that you love us, that we laugh with our friends and work with integrity at our job. And thank you that you bless us in the way you look at us as we serve church, as we share the gospel with passion. Lord Jesus, when I, when we have your heart, all that flows from it celebrates our union, that particular one center that there is no number one, no number two, and no number three. There's only one, and that is you. You are the center. I worship you, and we worship you and praise you. Amen. So, Dear friends, time to go to bed, right? So I wish you a good night, a deep sleep. Night, night. God bless you. Good night. <laughs>